Hello everyone, uh, myself Varadarajan, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SNS College of Technology. So, this is my the continuation video of the case study. The, in the last video, we are representing the limits, fits and tolerance about that particular topic. We are discussed about that uh, uh, topic. In, it will be a, a subject name of 19MEB202, Computer Data Machine Drawing subject. So, this is a very important case study for the particular subject. So, we already discussed about this particular thing. Uh, we once again, we just want to see the refreshment session. So, so we are we are seeing the uh, simple introduction and definitions and uh, what are the basic size, actual size and limits and then uh, what is the maximum limit, minimum limit and tolerance. So, deviation and lower deviations. So, zero line and tolerance zones. Up to this particular slide, we are seen in the last video. So, now we are going to see the next topic in the continuation of the tolerance fits and limits. So, here the we are we are going to see the tolerance. Okay. So, the tolerance on a basic size is obtained based on the performance. To achieve the required tolerance, the manufacturing process which is capable of accomplishing the specified to the tolerance economically has to be selected. Okay. So, this is the toler uh, general discussion. So, what are the method of, methods of indicating the tolerance on the drawing? So, the different methods of indicating the tolerance is given below. So, here the basic size uh, under the tolerance symbols and basic size and the values de uh, deviations and the limits of sizes. So, these are the three methods we are indicating the tolerance. Okay. So, next is the indicating the tolerance on the diagram. So, tolerance the dimensions. So, tolerance to dimension may be indicating using the tolerance to the symbol. Okay. So, these are the symbols we are using. Normally, we if you addition the symbol, it is necessary to express the value of the deviations. So, here the tolerance is 66.17. So, here the minus are plus 0 0.030 and 0 0.60. This is the deviations of levels and the symbols we are using. So, in addition to the symbols, it is necessary to express the limits of the sizes also. So, 60.17, 59.90, in between the, uh, the symbol represent, so they express the limits of the sizes, in between the 59.970 to 59.940 to 970. So, that is the limit size, within, within this limit, <coughs> the product <coughs> dimension it will be represented, okay. So, when the tolerance to the dimension is to be indicated using the deviations, it may be uh, shown any one of the methods. So, here there are, there are different three types of methods. It will be there bilateral, unilateral and the symmetrical methods. Okay. So, this is the plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2. So, this is the 42 is the specified value, uh, uh, dimension value. So, the de deviation mu must be within the limits. This is the bilateral limits. Okay. So, 42 is a 0 minus 0 0.2 is the unilateral limits. Okay. So, symmetrically uh, plus or minus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.1 or either minus 0 0.1. So, that is the symmetrical tolerance value. So, next is. <coughs> so, when the dimension is to be tolerated using the limit dimensions, they may be indicated directly. So, here 42.190, 42.195. Within these limits, the dimension of the particular product, it will be, we are getting in the, after the finishing the pro productions, okay. So, if the dimension is to be limited is one direction is only, it must be indicating by adding a minimum or maximum of the dimensions. Here, uh, the, these are the uh, different types of symbolic representation. So, that's why we are representing here like this. So, 30.5 mm, 30.5 uh, minimum is 30.5. So, 30.5 is the maximum. Like the, likewise, it is also represented by in the diagram itself. Okay. So, here the indication indication of the tolerance and uh, angular dimensions. So, the rules are given for the indications of tolerance on uh, linear dimensions are equally applicable the, to angular dimensions except that the units of the basic angle. So, and the fractions there are of uh, as well as the deviations should be indicated as shown. So, here the deviation of the angle, angle deviations, it will be like, uh, like that it will be representing like this, okay. These are the diagram representations for the angular dimensions. So, machining, so machining variations for the dimensions without tolerant indications. So, all the dimensions inscribed on a drawing of a machined parts 
should in the principle be associated with the tolerance data which are normally indicated uh, on the dimensioning line after the nominal dimensions so deviations for the linear dimensions so class of deviations the fine medium coarse and extra coarse these are the different types of this table it will be represented the different uh, all dimensions are are in the m okay so above and up to and including range of nominal dimensions it will be represented represent like this okay fine dimension medium dimension coarse dimension and extra coarse dimensions okay so the all dimensions it will be indicated on the dimensioning line after the nominal dimensions it will be represent like this okay so up to this particular ppt uh, up to the particular slide we will stop the uh, presentation over here so we will continue the next slide onwards in the next video okay thank you